Welcome back to Southern Food Junkie. I'm glad y'all stopped by today. Today we're gonna do a quick brine recipe on chicken. We're gonna show you how we do it. It's very simple, it's very easy, it requires very few ingredients, so let's get to it. To start with, you're gonna need a very large pot. You also need some sort of a measuring cup. And you'll need some salt. I'm using kosher salt here, or you can use sea salt. We're brining whole split chicken breasts with the bone in. Brining your chicken or poultry, uh, also other lean types of meat, has long been one of the secrets to a lot of the top chefs and uh, a lot of your favorite restaurants that serve uh, southern fried chicken. So this is what we're doing today. I always recommend brining your poultry uh, at least 12 hours before you uh, you actually are going to plan on cooking it. We're we're taking whole split uh, bone-in chicken breast and we're gonna brine it tonight and we're actually gonna bake it tomorrow. So we're preparing this tonight and the recipe we're gonna use calls or the recipe that we're using calls for one gallon of water per one cup of salt. Now there's some other uh, types of ingredients that you can put in, but this is your basic chicken brine right here. You can add uh, sugar to it. Uh, sugar will help the uh, skin kind of crisp up and brown better uh, when you're frying and baking uh, chicken. Um, you can also add in different types of herbs and seasonings, peppercorn, rosemary, um, garlic. Uh, you know, you could, you could put in all types of stuff in there, carrot, celery. But today we're just going to focus on just our basic chicken brine recipe. And from there you can build on top of that what you want. So let's get down and show you what we got. We're starting off with our large stock pot. And what we're going to do is we're going to add our water in here. And we're going to add it uh, four cups at a time because that's the biggest measuring cup that I got. And we're going to measure this out. So 16 cups would equal one gallon. And you don't want to fill up your pot more than halfway. Uh, that way, you know, because your chicken's going to overflow. So let's get down and show you this. We're going to start by adding in our water. Now that we got our water in our pot, I got roughly a gallon and a half in here. So I'm going to put a cup and a half of salt in here. So the next thing we need to do is measure out your salt. Again, if you're using one gallon of water, use uh, one cup of salt. If you're using two gallons of water, you use two cups of salt. So I got a gallon and a half, so I'm using a cup and a half. Measure out your salt and pour it into your water. Next, we wanna stir it until all the salt has dissolved into the water. This may take a few minutes. Now, you're just gonna add your chicken pieces in. You're going to brine your meat for 12 to 24 hours. The larger the cut of meat, the longer you'll brine it for. So a whole chicken, you may want to brine for 24 hours. If you have something like boneless chicken breasts, you may want to brine those for 6 to 12 hours. After you're done putting your chicken inside the pot, the next part is probably the hardest part. Finding somewhere to put that pot in your refrigerator. I know if your refrigerator is like mine, there's not much room in it. So let's get this in the refrigerator. Next time you're about to cook some poultry, whether it be whole chicken or whole turkey or bone-in split chicken breast like we have today or any other type of lean cut of meat, give this quick chicken brine recipe a try. I'm sure it'll help your meat stay juicy and delicious and everybody will be thinking you're an excellent cook. Thanks for stopping by Southern Food Junkie. If this is your first time visiting with us, why not hit that little subscribe button right there? That way, you'll be notified every time that we release a new video. Also, there's two videos that'll pop up right here. I'm sure you'll love those just as much. We'll see you next time on Southern Food Junkie, and remember, 
Let's get food junk.